Welcome to WSO2 Streaming Integrator Demo. Today, we are going to see how we can utilize CDC and ETL functionalities of Streaming Integrator for data warehouse maintenance. Let's dive right into the scenario. GDPR regulation, which came into effect in 2018, requires that companies should not hold onto personally identifiable data of users after termination of relationship between the user and the company. For example, Let's consider that there is an online entertainment platform, where you can stream audio and video content. A user decides to cancel his subscription. Now, the company should delete data pertaining to the unregistered user. However, not all data can simply be deleted. There is some data that needs to be archived for future references. Consider that the data warehouse of the online entertainment company has three tables in a MySQL database. When a user unregisters, we need to take two actions, delete the user from user data table, and write some data into archive table. We have two flows to perform these actions. The first flow listens for insertions into unregistered user table, and deletes the corresponding data from user data table. This deletion triggers the second flow, which archives the data, after cleaning personally identifiable fields. We have two SID apps to handle these two flows. You can also view the detailed statistics relating to these flows in a monitoring dashboard. Here, I have two CD apps called Delete User Data and Archive User Data. This was created using ETL Flow Wizard, which simplifies and streamlines the process of developing CD app for real time ETL with no code. I have created a MySQL database called Production with the three tables. Data of registered users is stored in user data table. When a user unregisters, an entry is made into unregistered user table. Archive table is used to store data for future references. There are two rows corresponding to two users, Thomas Drayton and Jennifer Hill, in the user data table. Now the user Jennifer Hill decides to unregister. I will simulate this by inserting her user ID into unregistered user table. It should trigger the deletion flow, which in turn will trigger the archiving flow. To achieve this, we have a CDC source, which is listening to insertion events into unregistered user table. This inserts the events into unregistered user stream. Then, the event is used to delete data from user data table. In the second app, we have another CDC source, which listens for deletions in user data table, and inserts events into delete user stream. Then we have a flow for data cleaning, which removes sensitive data, and then archives it. From this developer tooling, we can directly hot deploy CD apps into streaming integrator server. Let's deploy these two CD apps. Now, let's simulate unregistering of Jennifer Hill. After unregistering, the row corresponding to Jennifer Hill should no longer be there in user data table. You can see that it has been deleted. In the archive table, we should see a new row. Here is the new row with user ID, register date, unregister date, and the package of her subscription. We have cleaned the data to remove personally identifiable fields, such as address and mobile number, that are present in the user data table. The changes to the data warehouse can become complex over time. We need observability to keep track of what is happening in these flows. WSO2 Streaming Integrator uses Grafana to host and view its pre-configured dashboards that are designed to view statistics relating to its streaming activities. The statistics are published to the dashboard through Prometheus. Now, we will simulate multiple unregisterings using a stored procedure, so that we can observe rich statistics. Let's call the procedure. This dashboard shows the overall statistics of the two flows. We can view granular statistics, by visiting flow and table specific dashboards. Let's go into archive user data. Here you can observe statistics specific to this flow. You can also view CDC and RDBMS statistics. Let's click user data table. Here you can see change data statistics specific to this table. You can also see the time trend of the changes in this graph.
Thank you for watching this demonstration on how we can use streaming ETL and CDC functionalities of WSO2 streaming integrator to maintain a data warehouse. You can join us in Slack using this link.